Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to look at the bass notes for absolute beginners. So what I want to cover today is all the notes that are available on the very first section of the fretboard from here to here. What most of you will have uh, noticed and probably panicked about on the double bass is that we have zero frets. So there's no clues or idea where you're supposed to put your fingers, how to find any of the notes or anything like that. So uh, we're going to demystify the fretboard. So music is made up of notes, lots of different notes. All notes are is names that we've given to different frequencies of sound. Uh, the note system makes it a lot easier to be able to find and understand what's going on with the sounds. We're not going to go too deep into that because it gets ridiculously complicated and it's kind of unnecessary really for you to learn to play. There's just certain things you need to know and understand to be able to play along with other musicians. Notes on any instrument go from A to G through the alphabet. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts again on an A and repeats and repeats and repeats. So there are notes in between some of the letter names. Um, we won't go into why, just understand and know that they are, learn them and memorize them. So before we go into what's in between A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I want to just cover very quickly two concepts for you. This, these concepts are covered in another one of my earlier videos on terminology um, that you need for music. And so if you want to know further, I'll put the link to that video in the comments and it will also be linked at the very end of this video. So the first term we're gonna look at is the term sharp. Now all sharp means is that the note you want to play is just a little bit above the note that you're playing. So for example, if I play a C on the bass, and then I can play a D on the bass, in between a C and a D, just above that C, in sound, is a C sharp, okay? And you can do the same with F, and an F sharp. To be fair, every single note has a sharp. They get a little bit complicated about when and where, but we'll, again, we'll go over this in more detail in other videos. For now, I just want you to know that a sharp is means just a little bit above one of the notes. The other term we want to know is a flat. And all a flat means is just a little bit beneath one of the notes. So if you're playing a B, the next step down is a B flat. If you're playing an E, the next step down is an E flat, okay? So as you can see in this image, this is the image with the sharps. So you have A, A sharp, B, C, there's no sharp in between the B and the C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, again, no sharp, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then you go right back to the beginning, back to the A again. So if we look at that same sequence using the flat concept, you would have A, B flat, because it's just below the B, B, C, again, there is never a note between the B and the C, they are right next to each other, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, and then back to the A again. So these are really important terms. It sounds quite complicated, but it's not really. It's just for a big, complete beginner, you just want to learn which ones you need at which times. So the next chart that I've put up, as you can see, shows you the most common ones that you will come across. So, as you can see, the note between, as we've learned so far, the note between A and B could either be called an A sharp, because it's one up from an A, or it could be called a B flat, which is one down from a B flat. But in this chart below, we've called it a B flat, because you are much more likely to come across a B flat in music than you are an A sharp. And that's the same with each of these notes that we've used, okay? But it's handy for you to know that they sometimes have two different names depending on what key you're in. So now let's look at how we find these notes on the fretboard. So as I said before, we're only gonna look at the first section of the fretboard, because in that first section of the fretboard, you can find every note you need to play any song. That doesn't mean you can find every note you need for every bass line, that's a slightly different thing, but you can find any note you need for any song if you're playing in certain keys, okay? So let's first look at the open strings. As you can see on the chart below, there's four strings, as you know, 
and each of them have a name. So we have the bottom string, which is the E string, the next string up, which is the A string, next up is the D string, and then the G string. Now those names refer to the notes that that string plays. So if you play your bottom string without pressing any fingers down, you're playing an E note. The next string up, again, without pressing any fingers down, you're playing an A, okay? So next we need to find out how we find each of the notes on the strings. So on the chart you can see in front of you, there's the E, A, D and G strings. Here is a little line that signifies the very, very top of the bass. So where the strings come off the headstock onto the fretboard. So you'll have a little groove where the strings come onto the fretboard. The first line you see there, that represents that line. Now the next line represents the first fret. The first fret we're going to play today with our first finger, here. The next line is the second fret, which we're gonna play with our second finger. The next line is the third fret, which we're gonna play with our, third, our fourth finger. We don't play with the third finger. If you're not sure about left hand technique and which fingers to play with, you can see my video on left hand technique. Um, and then the fourth fret, we're gonna slide down and also play that with the fourth finger. So those are the four positions. If you're not sure where they are on your bass, the rule of thumb is, very quickly, again, this is all covered in left hand technique, but the rule of thumb is it's about as far as you can stretch your hand. It's gonna be slightly different for some people, your stretch is gonna be a little bit different, but that's when you need to start using your ear and a tuner to start being able to memorize with your hand. Your hand needs to know and understand without thinking where these notes are, but that takes quite a lot of practice. So. We're going to look at the notes now. The very first fret, so that first line below the headstock, that one is, so we have an open E and then we have an F. So that first one's an F. The next one down, so we're going to play that with two fingers, that's an F sharp, then we have a G, then we have a G sharp, okay? Then we go to the A string, we have a B flat, followed by a B, C, C sharp, open D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, and B. And those are all the notes you'll find on that very top half of your fretboard. So the next thing is we're going to just do a couple of exercises, very quick ones, on the video. So I'm going to tell you which note you're going to find and I want you to go ahead and find it. Um, feel free to pause the video to take your time, and then I'm gonna show you the answer. So the first note I'd like you to find is an A. Off you go. So if you've done that already, if you haven't, pause the video. If you have your A, you can either play it on the open string here, or you may have chosen to play it on the G string with the second finger down. Those are the two places you can find the A on this. Okay, next one. Go and find an F. Have you done it? Okay, so the F, again, you've got two places you can find an F. So either one finger down on the E string or all fingers down on the D string. Next note, find a C. Have you done it? So there's only one C in this section of notes, and that is all fingers down on the A string. That's where your C is. The last note I want you to find is a G. Go ahead. So your G is all fingers down on your E string, or the top open string. So if you are a Bass Pixie patron, um, all those charts and some more exercises you can do uh, on the downloads page. Um, there's also an answer video to the exercises, so go ahead and practice as much as you need. Um, you're free to use any of those. If you aren't a patron of me yet, you can support the channel by subscribing down below. For all the exercises um, and downloads, it's only £3 a month, so you just subscribe and you pay £3 a month and you'll get all the exercises and answer videos. You also get access to um, an online community where I will be virtually present um, and you can ask questions and post videos of your progress um, and anything else like that. 
And there's also different levels of um, support you can um, give, which go all the way up to uh, house concerts and everything else. But there's double bass lessons, um, sort of online double bass lessons and things like that. One-to-one uh, -one sessions or group sessions um, with different levels and different tiers on Patreon. So thanks for watching and thanks to all the supporters out there. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, music videos and more.